hives torched, thousands of bees killed, and many more now left without a hive. This surprising scene unfolding at a monastery in Clayton. First Alert 4's Avery Martinez live from that monastery tonight. And Avery, this fire is sparking concerns for local beekeepers. Yes, plenty. Uh, part of that is because nationally, experts think that we lose about 50% of all bee colonies to a number of factors, including just fires, devastation, changes in habitat, even weed killers. But they could have never anticipated this, a fire that was set. That's what some believe happened here. And you can see the damage. And now beekeepers are even more concerned because there's less bees now than there were before. Honeybees are the premier pollinator and vegetables, um, berries, seed producing plants. So they help the environment. Bees have been a concern for scientists for some time. They're extremely important pollinators helping with flowers, fruits and other food. That's what makes this fire so shocking at Carmelite Monastery in Ladue. Bill Bent handles the ground and says there's evidence the fire could have been started deliberately and police are investigating. There's still robber bees are still lost bees, basically. Most of the worker bees would have got out when they seen the smoke. But then you're going to have your queen of that and all the babies, yeah. the brood, the you're not going to get out, that they're going to die with, you know. Gosh, look at that, and they're just circling around. Yeah. The security cameras were too far back to catch the fire. At the monastery, the nuns and beekeeper are devastated. Three full beehives. I mean, we're, we're so close to harvest. Healthy hives can produce three gallons of honey each harvest. That's all now lost. Well, all the hate in the world right now, why the bees? There was concerns about gasoline or something? Well, there was, it was definitely intentional. He says the smell of chemicals was present when firefighters arrived the day of the fire. There is some hope actually, though, that the beehives yes. are going to come back. Oh, yes, there is. There's an anonymous parishioner that he said, well, whoever it is, tell him I will, I will fund his next beehives. Just no one involved can understand why these hives were targeted. The Ledoux Monastery is looking to up their security and put the future hives in a more secure place. But the loss of those bees will be felt for some time because of the way they were destroyed. They aren't common, but they have happened. I mean, we've had three incidences this season of colonies being burned. Keepers have been pushing for some time to try to make damaging a specific hive into an actual crime here in Missouri. For now, though, they're advising anybody interested in bees to get their beehives away from public sight and keep them protected. For First Alert 4 in Clayton, I'm Avery Martinez. All right, Avery, thank you. And up